Hey everybody, it's birdie time, and today I'm going after the leaderboards at Northside Park. That was awful. Well, that sucks. That did not turn over like I thought it would. Great conundrum I put myself in. Really, really smart of me. So I'm really aiming at 10th place, 13 down. With three par fours out here, that should be essentially three guaranteed birdies. And so that lets me have five mistakes through 15 holes. I think that's reasonable, that's logical, uh, but we'll see what we can put together. Yo. Probably no eagle there. So I think one of the toughest parts of this challenge for me is the fact that I can't really throw 400 feet. And there's several eagle opportunities, if I could, where I could earn a shot at landing that jump putt. But it's just gonna be really tough if the best I can do is 370 and I hit a tree on the way there. So it's still probably a birdie, but it's definitely gonna be one of those parts of the course where there's just a few strokes I can't pick up. Decided to take my medicine here to just go for the birdie. Uh, it's just 90 feet, it's a little too far for me. That's a fight at least. It's definitely a little breezy today, which is a factor. Uh, not on the shot that I just threw, but there's a few open holes out here that the tee shots are just gonna to be tougher. Whether it's a headwind or a crosswind, it's just gonna to be tough to land it close to the basket and have a putt, especially if it's still windy when I'm putting. So that's gonna be an obstacle that I'm gonna to need to overcome. And I have to land the putts with the opportunities that I earn, like this one. At this stage, pretty much that's a must make. It's a real blow to morale to miss that putt from C1. If I'm missing that putt right now, it's tough to say that I'll actually get my mark of 13 down out here. Um, but it's not the end of the world, it's just a big setback. I'm lucky to have that. That did not get any turnover at all. That is taking one back from the course. Although, this tree absolutely helped me. Shoot. That did not turn over like I thought it would. It's definitely, I definitely kinda need to stay on pace and there's only so many pars I can take and I'm taking some of them really early. So that's unfortunate, not my preference, but it's not over. There's still time. All right, I don't wanna talk about that. Um, I was really counting at hole five being a par and so now I have to either take a bit of a risk and go for it and risk my chances dwindling to near nothing very early on, or I can just set myself really far behind the pace and play it for par, which I don't like doing that either. So great conundrum I put myself in. Really, really smart of me. I'm throwing a flippy fairway really trying to keep it low and just drive it toward the edge of the circle. All right, that was anything but low, anything but controlled, but I'm fine for the par. So the unfortunate part about this hole is that for me right now, I'm close enough to run a jump putt very safely and I'm totally obstructed. work 
I'm falling behind, but there's still hope. This is tough. This is where the edge of circle windy putts really start to get tough. This turns into a bogey risk if I sail it past, if I airball it. So, woo! It's tough in this wind. That is scary. That's tough because I know there's dangling branches there. I can see them, but my line was perfect and I would have been absolutely parked. Now I've got another jump putt. Surprise, surprise. That's jump putt number five. Technically that's my sixth jump putt out of seven holes. So that's exciting. But yeah, we'll see what I can do, I, I guess. At 34 feet, right on the edge of the circle, jump putt, I think number six out of seven holes, including a par four. Yes. All right, we're still alive. I've got a putt. I really try to keep it low and I went way too low. But with this wind, I had no idea how to just drive it through the wind. I got close. Surprise, surprise. I have a just outside the circle jump putt. Again, for birdie. I made those today. Woo! I don't think that's a jump putt. I think I'm in a circle. Five down through nine. No shot. Like literally 0% chance that I take first for the leaderboard. That's out the window. Not possible. Tenth is 13 down. Five down through nine means I have one par. <laughs> one par. So what hole am I going to par? Probably the shortest and easiest one. Ball 10. Well, that sucks. That might be it. Okay, thankfully I'm not in the circle. That would be just terrifying. I have a jump putt, so we're good. Uh, actually, I might have an obstructed jump putt, which is maybe even better, I guess. Um, but yeah. <laughs> It might be over. I mean, there's still hope, but I've got to take the last seven in a row. Is that right? No, the last eight in a row. Yeah, this ain't happening. Oh boy, oh boy. I did it. I really got myself in a good spot here. Boom, look at that, with wind too. 56 feet, uh, this might be the time where I just go for it because if I don't have that one stroke cushion then it, I'm really in a spot where it's just too it's too difficult to play perfectly through eight. I clearly can't put eight straight holes together with no mistakes. So if I don't make this and I take the bogey then it's just how it was supposed to be. I 
I don't know if I've had a worse putt all day. I mean, we parred it. We parred the second easiest hole in the course, and we also parred the easiest hole in the course. So we're in great shape. No wonder we're so close to our goal. No wonder. So in some ways the pressure is higher, but at the same time, lower, because there's no way I'm playing eight in a row perfectly. So honestly, I know I'm not going to do it at this point. Uh, so that pressure's kind of gone. Um, if I get five in a row, I'm going to start really feeling it. Good news, that's circle two. 38 feet, we're nice and close. Pressure's off. So when I come out here to try this again, which I'm thinking this will be a, a nice little video series, uh, I've got to get 2 and 10. And actually, I might just want to wait for the pin positions to change because I think for me this is the tougher layout. Uh, maybe not, but I feel like it is. Uh, so that's, that's my way of consoling myself. I'm playing the harder layout. I don't know if that's true. But that gives me hope for the future. Tougher than a jump flat. Too close. Here I am, not breaking my uh, the leaderboard record thing, whatever. But I am birding this. I think it'd be very funny if I magically got an eagle on 15 after birding 14, and then I have a ton of pressure going into the last three with an opportunity to actually get it. Uh, but that would mostly be just uh, depressing. So I'm kind of hoping I don't do that. kind of worked. Pressure's off. I'm so mad at myself now. I've got four holes left with six strokes that I need. I could go eagle, birdie, or ace actually, I could ace. That's good. I could actually go 14 down. This is starting to look up for me. Uh, eagle, birdie, birdie, eagle. If I pipe the gap by the Mando, which I have done, but I didn't get uh, an eagle look. I've hit that gap. I just need to hit it like three feet right of last time. In a headwind with a storm, potentially rolling in. Fun stuff. Yeah, do I go for it? So that actually might be a 65 footer for Eagle. I went right through the tree row. So I did end up with a 56 foot Eagle opportunity, which with a jump putt is actually possible. I never expected this. It's kind of making me more sad about the rest of my round. <laughs> That was pretty weak. I got scared at the last second of hitting that tree. Birdie. I 
How does it taste? Wow. Uh, do I have a chance now? Can I eagle 18? That's like my fourth ever first shot ace. And I don't have any of the other ones on camera. They were all off camera. I even have a witness. Hey buddy, did you just see that? Yeah, there's no food involved. He doesn't care. I have only aced I, on my first shot three other times. One of them with a katana from 240 feet when I was super new. Um, let's see, what was my other ones? One of them with a Terra, blind around a corner, no way to film it. And one of them here, hole two, with the, my keystone, my putter, uh, and it was too cold, so I wasn't filming. Now, I have this one. I cannot believe that that just happened. I cannot believe that went in. So I gotta give a shout out. I'm gonna pronounce his name wrong and I'm gonna be so mad. Uh, Tristan Goats, so sorry Tristan if I said that wrong, made this stamp, this I am stamp. And I mean, for me, this is one of the coolest stamps I've ever seen. It has, I think, every name for God and Jesus throughout the Bible. And uh, yeah, first shot ace in a round where I'm trying to set a, a leaderboard <laughs> score. So this helps just a little bit. So I guess in some ways the pressure's back on. Uh, I could birdie eagle and hit 13. I don't think I will, but I could. No shot, that's a jump pot, I don't make those. I have to be honest, I'm wondering if I have anything left in the tank after all the jump putts and that ace. I don't know what I have left. And this wind is probably gonna help. Too much to hope. Officially, 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 0% chance of making it happen. That par is slightly sad. I probably should have just waited around for like five minutes, let my heart rate drop, get back into my normal groove. But I just kind of chucked it without even thinking. And uh, jump putts can only land so many times in a round, I found. I think my limit has definitely been hit, although I might have one more chance here. Alright, that's not an eagle chance, but it's up there. I knew I wasn't going to get in the circle, uh, especially with headwind. So 120 feet, that's good. It's a layup. I mean, if it goes in, it wasn't on purpose. I missed it by two. I had cage hits, band hits, uh, an air ball in hole two from C1. We don't need to really talk about that. A lot of mistakes. I had an ace. I had an eagle look twice. I mean, wild day, but two away. I think, honestly, a few more tries, I might be able to do it, especially with less wind. It was officially a crazy round. Two off from my goal. I think I can do it with a few more tries, so I'll be back. Catch you in the next one. Just for personal pride, I'm gonna run this until I make it.
I think my problem is, I think there's a tree in the way, but really there's not a tree in my way. It's just right next to my way. That was it. <laughs>